list all ASCII or Unicode characters, why would we ever want to do that? Well, one reason, if ASCII character number 48 is 0 and ASCII character number 65 is A, the fact that 65 is greater than 48 means when we sort Z to A, the letter A comes out on top. The other reason is sometimes you want characters like these in formulas. Well, you can use uni character if you know the number. And there's lots of other reasons to list them too. Now, I will show you the old fashioned way of listing all these characters. But if you have Microsoft 365, this is how easy it is. You use the sequence function, and you have to know that there's 255 ASCII characters. So we simply, in the rows argument, put the number 255, leaving all of the defaults that will increment from 1 to 255. So when I hit Enter, the numbers spill down the column. Now this is a spilled array formula, so you notice the formula below the top cell is grayed out. The formula only lives in the top cell, B6. Now those numbers are important because there's a function called character. And if I hit Tab, it wants a number. And then, of course, 1 to 255 will show the ASCII character. Now I left arrow, and because I want to refer to the formula and the spilled results from cell B6, I use the spilled range operator, hashtag, or pound. And that's the formula. Close parentheses, and this will spill too. Scroll down, and now for all sorts of different types of formulas and situations, you have a list of the number and the ASCII character. Now just for fun, let's see if we can use the let function. The let function allows us to define a variable. We'll define the variable n. That's going to be the numbers 1 to 255, comma, and then the formula for that variable, sequence 255, variable name, formula. Now we can use it, comma. I want two columns emanating from a single cell, so I have to mash together two columns. And we use the lookup function choose for that. In index, since I want column 1 and 2 simultaneously, curly bracket 1, comma means go over a column, semicolon means go down a row, 2. N curly bracket, comma, the first column or value are the numbers, so we put the variable N, comma, and then we use character with N in the number argument. And that's our formula. Close parentheses on choose. That'll be the calculation that let delivers. Close parentheses and enter. Now, uni characters, wow, over 140,000 characters. We can use sequence, 143. 859, close parentheses, and Enter. And then instead of character, it's uni character. So I type the letter U, and it happens to be the first function. So I see it in blue. I hit Tab. Left arrow, pound, hashtag, close parentheses, and Enter. Now here's the old-fashioned way. You have to build a formula that you manually copy down 255 rows. So that's an expandable range that counts rows. And that formula element gives us 1 to 255. And then we use character, but we have to manually copy it down. This one, this has 140,000 formulas. And when I copied it down manually, it took forever to calculate. Whereas this spilled array version calculated virtually instantly. All right, here's your bonus tip. Let's say we want to show everyone what formula is in that cell. Well, we're going to make a text formula equals, and I'll do it up here, equals in double quotes, formula in cell, n double quotes, and I join it. And I'm going to create a cell reference with the address function. It wants to know what row. So we say, hey, row, look at that cell right there. That'll deliver the row 6. And then we'll do column in on the same cell. That'll deliver the column number to address, comma, and then I want a relative cell reference, so I put a 4, close parentheses, and I want a space, so I have to, in double quotes, put that space, and join it to uni character, and I think I remember this 9566, close parentheses. I'm going to enter this and see. No, it's the wrong one.
So I had to go look it up, and it's actually 9658. And you can look through that whole list. There are some amazing characters that you are now allowed to use anytime you make a text formula. And now join with a space and join it to formula tech. And that'll get the formula from that cell, close parentheses. And if I enter it, that's looking pretty cool. But I want to turn it off when there's nothing entered. So I use if NA. There's the whole value. If it comes out NA, that means there's no formula, comma. And in value if NA, I'll put the formula syntax for show nothing. Double quote, double quote. That's actually a zero length text string. Close parentheses and Enter. So now if I delete this, all gone. Control Z to bring it back. Now I use formulas like this all the time in all the downloaded workbooks and all the classes I teach. And I move formulas all the time. So if I move this, remember, this whole thing is coming from a single cell. So I'm simply going to move it with my move cursor. And that formula updates. And of course, that respills in that new location. Control Z, and there you go. So sequence and character with a spilled array and sequence with a really big number, and uni character. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out more fun from Excel is Fun, here's some videos. Mm -hmm.